Hello everyone, this is Pocket Monster Video, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, weigh Pokemon packs. Uh, I mentioned this in an earlier video, I had a sealed booster box, you can see it um, back here, of EX Holon Phantoms. And so from that box I removed nine packs, and each of these packs uh, came, they're all the same artwork, they're all the Mewtwo artwork. And so they're from the same booster box and they're same pack artwork, so I'm hoping that the, uh, this helps control for weight differences. <clears throat> and what I did, I actually work in a microbiology laboratory that has a very expensive microbalance uh, scale, basically, that can measure down to single milligrams. And so I took each of these packs in and weighed them, uh, <clears throat> and I balanced it all, so made sure it's uh, weighed accurately, and wrote down the weights of the pack on uh, a sticky note afterwards and stuck it to the pack so I could keep track of which pack's which. And now I'm going to open them from uh, lowest weight to highest weight and we're going to see if that makes any sense and correlates to any sort of uh, increased amount of holographics or any uh, special cards. Um, for just a little bit of information, uh, pack number 9 was the last pack I weighed and that weighed 16,551 milligrams. Uh, that's pretty much 16 and a half grams, and one gram is equal to, or sorry, 28 grams is equal to about one ounce. Um, so these packs are uh, fairly light, and the lowest pack I had in weight was 16,226 milligrams. So the difference between these two is only uh, about 300 milligrams, which is about uh, three tenths of a gram. So they're very small differences from the lowest to the highest in this set of nine packs that I have. Uh, but anyway, I'm still curious to see if there's a, a noticeable difference, and that's why I use the um, very expensive balance that I have at our lab, because I know I would be able to tell if there's very small differences like this. So we are going to start off with pack number four, uh, based on just the order I uh, weigh them in, one through nine. So this is pack number four, which is the lightest pack at 16,226 milligrams. So we're going to set the sticker to the side and see what's inside. So this is the lightest pack. First card is a Trap Pinch, Torchic, Psyduck, Execute, Pikachu, Holon's Cast Form, Combuskin, the reverse foil is a Barboach, and the rare is a Rayquaza Delta Species, and this is not holographic, so the lightest pack, no holographic. Okay, the next pack, uh, which I number number 7, is 16,258 milligrams, which is only um, about 30 milligrams heavier than the previous pack. So not much of a difference, so I would expect we'll see similar results on this. The first card is a Lilip, a Pidgey, a Pikachu, Carvana, Torchic, Kimechko, Cedra. The reverse foil is a gold duck, and the rare is a zangoose. Alright, the third pack, which also happens to be pack number three, weighed 16,290 milligrams. And at the end of this entire video, um, I'm going to shut the video off and take a little bit of time to uh, kind of do a little bit of statistical analysis of this, just very slightly and see if there's any sort of trend I could figure out from the data and then I'll uh, include this as uh, a small part at the end of the video separately. Okay, we have an Aeron, Mankey, Fanfi, Claw Fossil, Pikachu, Dark Metal Energy, Chimechko, 
a reverse foil lightning energy and the rare is a Sableye. Okay, so we're on to the fourth pack, which I have as pack number eight, which is 16,297 milligrams. So we're getting close to the 16.3 gram mark, which I think the next pack will just be over that amount. So far it makes sense though, no rares yet, and uh, no holographics yet, and uh, I'm on the lower end of the scale. Okay, we have a Pichu, Kabuto, Barboach, Surskit, Corfish, a Wabufet, Persian, another reverse foil lightning energy, and another non holographic rare, a nose pass. So I'm really hoping this theory is right, and I end up with a lot of holographics at the end here, but we'll find out. So this was the first pack I weighed, pack number one, and it weighed 16,330 milligrams. The first card is a Pidgey, Barboach, Pichu, Claw Fossil, Corfish, Holon Adventurer, Persian, a Reverse Foil Mawile, and uh, back to back another Nose Pass Rare. Okay, so we've gone through five, the five uh, lightest packs and still no holographics. On to um, the fourth from last pack, which is number five in the order of, that I weighed them, which is 16,344 milligrams. Starting off with a Corefish, a Pikachu, Aeron, Execute, Horsey, Mascarene, <clears throat> Professor Cosmo's Discovery, the reverse foil is a Holon Lake, <clears throat> and the rare is a non-holographic Mewtwo, which I haven't gotten yet from this booster box, so that's kind of nice. Alright, we're down to the last three packs. Uh, this was the second pack I weighed, and it weighed 16,442 milligrams. So that's actually um, almost 100 milligrams higher than the last pack, so it's a pretty large increase, so we'll see if that actually means there's a holographic inside. Okay, we have an Oddish, Pidgey, Baltoy, Carvana, Anorith, Executor, Lairon. The reverse foil is a Lightning Energy, which is the third one I've gotten in these packs. And here we go, we have a Holographic Latios. <clears throat> okay, so. Now the last pack was, um, like I said, it weighed 16,442 milligrams, which was almost uh, 100 milligrams higher than the previous pack, and that's also the first holographic I've gotten. So I'm hoping these last two packs, uh, this one which weighs 16,457 milligrams, will uh, also be holding holographics. And now the exact weight that is needed to be above the, a level where holographic would be in there is probably going to vary significantly from set to set, and so since this is the EX Holland Phantom set, the exact amount probably is not going to be the same for some of the more recent sets. 
but just the general theory is what I'm trying to see if that holds true. Okay, we have a Pidgey, Barboach, Pichu, Claw Fossil, Corfish, Donphan, Gloom. Their first foil is a Chemechco. And the last card is a Hollow Foil Bioplume. <clears throat> okay, cool. So now the very last pack <clears throat> is a. Uh, it was actually the last pack I weighed, it was 16,551 milligrams, which was actually almost exactly 100 milligrams higher than the last pack I just opened. <clears throat> so that's quite a big difference, so I'm not sure what's going to be inside, but I'm hoping for something uh, pretty awesome. <clears throat> we'll find out. Okay, last pack. Corefish. Pikachu, Aeron, Execute, Horsey, a Dark Metal Energy, Holon's Cast Form, the Reverse Foil is a Relicanth, and look at that, the very last card in the entire booster box that I opened is a Gold Star Mewtwo, which is a really really awesome card to pull and I'm pretty sure gold stars in the EX Holon Phantom set are about one in every two booster boxes so um, I'm pretty excited right now I just went through a total of 36 packs from that set of a booster box and the very last card from the very last pack is the Mewtwo gold star so I'm going to uh, which I obviously I do not have any gold stars this is the first one I've ever gotten so I'm gonna be a little bit careful with this and slide this into here. Uh, so, in summary, um, I'll follow up this with a little bit more, I guess you'd say, statistical analysis to give a better understanding of the difference in the weights and what that affects. But it definitely seems like pack weighing is completely legitimate since of the nine packs I opened, uh, in the order from least, from lowest weight to highest weight, the highest weighted cards were the last three, uh, highest weighted packs, the last three packs, each had holographics, and the high, heaviest of them all had a gold star. <clears throat> so, um, I think many people will sometimes use small at home scales. I'm not sure if those are accurate enough to really tell the difference, and I'm not sure if you can tell by just holding them in your hand. I think it's too small of a difference when we're talking only a matter of um, three tenths of a gram, but Definitely, if you have access to a very high-end scale, you're certainly able to weigh them. Uh, for that purpose, though, I only felt comfortable weighing them because this was from a sealed booster box. Um, so either way, I'd already paid for the cards. I wasn't going to return them. I know some people will weigh packs at the store, find the heaviest ones, and return the rest. I think that's kind of uh, really unfair and takes the fun out of opening Pokemon packs, especially for the other guy that goes to the store, which might just be a little kid, and gets some... Uh, a bunch of packs in a row without a holographic. So, personally, I think it's a little immoral and unfair to weigh packs unless you're planning on keeping them. But for this purpose, it was very fun to kind of do a little experiment, and it clearly had some great results. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.